so what's up guys and uh, yeah basically um, I watched Mega Mogwai's video for um, two days ago uh, Miguel made a very good update video where it talked about the, um, the matchups in the higher tiers and how people are striving away from the meta game overall so it was a very very good video and Miguel has that charm about him that he's a very easy going very good talker really and yeah, I thought the video came across as very very powerful, so I really want to do the same thing and you know, give my view of it because he actually reached out and you know that he's an entertainer and I feel much the same way when I make videos, it's never about, you know, the competitive scene. Well, I do get upset if I lose, it's, it's not a big deal, there is no like pot of gold if I win or lose, it's basically just a... Uh, it's just a like standardization of how good a player you can be, and uh, I get over it really fast. Like I said, it's it's a hobby, and um, I would never consider it anything else than that. So, with this in mind, I really felt that I could understand the things it was going to try at and the things that were so important. And um, basically, first off, we're gonna comment, you know, on the things that he first of reached out on. That was that people are getting tired of the metagame, it's getting stale, people are losing interest because of um, the standardization that is the higher tiers. First of all, yes, I can understand that that is finally happening. Auras did not bring that much to the metagame and uh, I can see why people are um, feeling that there isn't that much interest in the Kid Planet. Um, Smaller is partially, you know, I would say they are they are at fault for that, but at the same time, OU is definitely like the pure standardization of the VGC format when it comes to which Pokémon are used. So at the same time, I think Smogon kind of um, they kind of successfully made sure that that game didn't get stale too fast, and now we are in that point. And there are only so many options. I mean, there are like 20 to 30 Pokémon that are common in OU, and they are very likely to. Um, will not shift that much. If you're using Pokemon that aren't, like, that are UU or even worse, you are in theory um, a weaker team and um, people will underestimate you. And um, for good reasons, they generally don't have any problems. Like I said, the Pokemon know you, it's there for a reason. They are the best Pokemon in theory and uh, have very few, uh, or are at least not lacking as much in the the defensive department or in the physical department which means they can deal with a lot of things and that is kinda what I want to get at is that I get the standardization hell I'll even say it, it was inevitable and um, as, a, as a competitive player I guess I would be kinda tired because you're using the same team but I guess it's a joke like for a person all like me that are like creative said you will get tired of it because you can't break through what is the standard set? So I can see OU being very fast fall apart. Um, I'm actually glad it hasn't. And um, UU is definitely one of those tier that I think are more complex, and they actually spice things up now. With I actually forget to mention the no mega in OU. That is basically the legendary heaven, I guess. Um, haven't checked it out. I'll I will not play it, but I can definitely check a few battles with it. In UU, they actually banned Skull. Um, or not ban Skull, but do in a different tier without Skull and see how that would work. What that basically means is that you don't really need to fear about using physical attackers as much. Oh, bye bye people. <sighs> Early morning. But, <laughs> um, yeah, what I was trying to get at is that um, no Skull means basically that people don't really need to fear about, you know, Discharge is not as common, for example, but Scald, you can Scald Burn, well obviously the, um, the word types is a very very powerful move and uh, most people like it or prefer it and I'm definitely one of them. The 30% um, chance is definitely a good one and uh, it's a bit on the mean side that it works so well. So they're basically trying out, trying to spice things up because everything has Scald, like is it a water pipe, pipe, type then yes, it's kinda obvious it's gonna have Skull and it's going to be bulky, it's going to burn you and you are gonna have hell. That's the standard people, that's the standard. But yeah, 
So I can see him spicing things up with that. It could actually work in his favor. And uh, yeah, with that said, um, just to prove myself a bit, uh, like I said, I I would say I'm an entertainer uh, when it comes to Wi-Fi battles. I really like different sets because when I use sets that are the common sets, I generally lose because I don't have I have a really bad synergy in my team always and it's not on purpose really it's just that um, since I do upload a lot of my battles I do tend to hope that there aren't more than 30 turns because battles that are more than 30 turns tend to be a bit stally so I must bring stally pokes to kind of successfully do that and like I said um, I shifted um, in like half a year ago of what type of videos I wanted to do and I really 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 decided to make unique sets instead a bit more on the fragile side but can break through and if they break through there's very likely that I will win and it's definitely teams that are made to fall apart and take your opponent with him or her and um, I'm very glad of that playstyle and it's something I do encourage people to do especially if you're a content creator we have the two types of content creators like we said we have the entertainers and then we have the competitive players that actually play the game for winning and they are there are more of those but there are very few of those that are popular we got people like Shofu is definitely one of those that I'd say is a competitive player in that fashion um, I don't know how, how he uploads anymore I may or may not be sub to him the same went with Mulvone I ended up mm, actually not subbing to him or being a um, subscriber to him anymore because of his um, he used the same team over and over again and basically I watched his team against different different players and that, that were actually trying to bring new things uh, it got stale fast and like I said that is what I believe is why being a competitive player is not a good pop or youtuber um, idea then again I am 1000 sub channel I I'm not a big channel and I don't have the power to change that view but if I had to look at myself then and look at the people that I watch that I think are funny then that's the reason I watch them this is the people I can laugh at they bring sets that are unique they are very very easy going for battles yes they want to win but hell if they lose it's fine uh, they it's all like I said it's a hobby they rem definitely defining that that hobby comes first we're doing this because it's fun and that's why Miguel's video was so powerful he is he's definitely like that he is going and yeah he he wants to win he wants to create something new but he also is very aware of the the team synergy you know this 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 is the obvious weakness but the trick is as you make a team that has an obvious weakness and made that by default it's it's knowing that weakness and work around it not being exploited by it and that is the thing like if you've done joke teams for quite a while you know this you you, you are so sure that uh, sh oh, it's gonna go down it's gonna go down you're gonna lose and if you're gonna lose there's gonna be why like, that exploit and it's your um yeah it, it's up to you to work around that and see if that works and yeah jokers i guess you call Joker tubers, eh? <laughs> Just had to hit the lamp while saying that. But um, <laughs> basically, I truly believe that if you can joke around and have fun, the meta game doesn't get stale. Um, and if you aren't competitive, that is actually even better. Because if you aren't competitive, then you are doing this because you really want to. And that is something that I do encourage people to just do. Relax. You know, just have fun. And um, the community, damn, the community has always good ideas and uh, make use of those people. And we are a lot of thousand to ten thousand subscribed channels that um, I think are in this little middle ground where we basically we were allowed to become a bit bigger um, because we didn't do the standard stuff. Yes, we didn't get the biggest, but then again, how many of the biggest channels do you see um, being a joke around channel the biggest channels that I can uh, I can name one that I know is a joke channel or not a joke channel per se but this person um, definitely 
he has a very easy going way and um, I can see why his channel got so big. He was, he, I feel that he's probably one of the few that actually started off with this and as a direct result of that, I feel that he got big by it. And um, yeah, I don't gonna man, you know exactly, it's, it's a shady person and um, I think you all know exactly who that is. And um, yeah, I truly believe that he only got big because he joked around and a lot of people started to do the same and it's actually working the the higher competitive channels um the new ones are not getting bigger um, they are sadly you know they're stuck in you know between 100 and 500 subs and has a very slow um, growth rate um and i uh, yeah like i said i think that and yeah on, on it's obviously my opinion but if you want to succeed as a pocket tuber I think you need to bring something new. I don't think you can bring the standardization. Then uh, looking at the meta game as it turned out, it turned out that things are getting stale and people are not watching that stuff anymore. It is it's not interesting and uh, it's too few varieties to actually bring to the meta game. So do you see what I'm getting at with this? Um, the meta game will get stale for me, maybe in the future. But it will not be because of the ma because of the matchups or because there are so few options. No, if it's gonna be stale, it's gonna be stale because I have I am out of ideas and I I can't find a way to exploit it anymore. And when that happens, that is my issue. Like I, I have to deal with that. But if you want to keep this game, you know, a bit more fluid and you know interesting, you know. Be, be the change, be the change yourself. Make sure that you actually bring the stuff that could be unique. And really, really, just try new things out. This game is so big, you got so much variety. Don't lock yourself into the, to the smallest of tiers and feel that this, this is what the metagame is all about, because it is not. It truly isn't, and there is no way I can say it even obvious. We have 718 Pokemon to choose from. Of those, we have 438 that are fully evolved Pokemon that aren't banned from any tier. Of those 438, you're choosing around 30. You figured it out. So anyway guys, I want to thank you guys for watching of course. Um, sorry for the video getting a bit too long here. Um, I definitely, definitely just wanted to really, really reach out there and actually say what's on my mind. And I'm gonna link Miguel's video down below. Like I said, a very excellent video and very powerful one. Like I said, he's easy going, he's a good guy, and we need more of those here. We truly do. So anyway guys, I wanna thank you for watching. Have a good day and take care, alright? And remember, sky slams and all. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, smooth. <laughs> take care guys. Bye.